The consumer market is changing and if you don't have an app for your business, you need to watch this video. Not only am I going to share opportunities that you are potentially missing out on, I'm also going to get into three different tools that will allow you to turn any website into an Android app or an iOS app. Without further ado, let's jump right in. The first missed opportunity is push notifications. If your business doesn't have an app, you can't send push notifications. And while there are different services that will allow you to directly text your customers, those mass text messages feel very impersonal and out of touch. It feels like you're being marketed to, it feels like your product and overall is just not the best experience from a consumer perspective. Being able to send your consumers push notifications directly to their phone with discounts, promo codes, announcements for certain deals or new products, sales, it boosts customer engagement, loyalty, branding, transparency, and overall is a great way to ensure that your customers always have your brand top of mind. In addition, you can create specific deals or promo codes that are directly available for your app users, only your app users, and this creates a sense of exclusivity and demand, which is something you can't really do without an app and just a basic website. Quick interruption, my name is Sophie and I go by Code by Sophie on all social platforms. I create tech content with the aim of lowering the barrier of entry into tech and ultimately democratizing the developer economy. If you support this mission, make sure you like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the next missed opportunity. The next missed opportunity is loyalty programs. If your business doesn't have an app, you can't effectively and efficiently create a loyalty program that will drive users back to your business over and over again. If a customer feels like they're being valued and they're gonna get a discount or something for free, it's gonna make them come back. And if you pair this with push notifications, you are in a great position. It's harder to keep track of these things when you don't have an app that's specific to a user and you're just trying to do this through a website, Again, it goes back to the user experience not being overall personalized, and this is where brands can miss out on that engagement from customers. On the topic of user experience, the next missed opportunity is not creating the best user experience possible for your customers. No one likes using a clunky old website on their phone that doesn't fit the dimensions of their device and just feels like you're browsing the internet in the early 1900s. In addition to this, when you have an app, you can quickly go on your phone and see what your order history is. You have a user profile. Depending on how you set your app up, you can engage with other consumers. You can have a forum. It just overall allows you to create a sense of community with your brand being at the middle of that community. In addition, having an app provides very powerful business analytics that can ultimately help you in decision-making, marketing, and everything that is not available essentially when you just have a traditional website. All in all, in this day and age, if you only have a website and you don't have an app, you're missing out on marketing opportunities, customer loyalty, engagement, and ultimately, you're missing out on dollars. The good news is if you already have a website and you don't have the budget to create an app from scratch, the three tools that I'm gonna share will allow you to create an app directly from that website. So the first tool that I wanted to cover is called Median. Over a million apps have been created on this platform. They have an in-house team that will help you with this entire process. They have a 98% app store approval rate, money back guarantee, development hours. And so a lot of the time when you're taking a website and turning it into an app, something called web view is used. And so it's basically just a wrapper for your website and there are limited functionalities for what you can ultimately do but it looks like with this solution, you have a lot more freedom, um, more than a wrapper, right? Um, it's free to try, 100% guarantee, future proof. And so this is a solution that I found. It's also low code that, you know, seem to be very, very popular. You have push notifications, integrations, um, you have, an array of different plugins 
that you can use. And so plugins ultimately allow you to add additional functionality to your now uh, website turned app, which is a really great um, feature. You know, you have your push notifications, authentication, anal analytics, um, and there, these are usually native features that you don't typically get um, when you have a website. And so the benefit of having a app is that you get all of these functionalities that will be native to the device that the app is ultimately running on. In addition for resources, there's a blog and a support portal docs. You know, I'm very big on ensuring that, you know, there is support on how to build what you're trying to build. Uh, with the specified tool that you're using and they have you know different profiles that you can set up now the downside and here's the downside is that so for a self-service if you want to do this yourself um they do have a free option but you would have the watermark on your app which might not be ideal that's not something that you're looking for and i probably wouldn't suggest if you want to remove the watermark and you know how to do everything yourself, it would be a one-time fee of $790, which isn't terrible, um, especially just for one-time use. And you're talking about creating an app. The caveat with this is you would have to be pretty comfortable with Median and how they work and the integration. And if something doesn't work or if something breaks or if you want to add something, you would have to go in and do the research via you know, the blog right or via uh their support portal right so you wouldn't have direct access to get any help um they have a full service option which essentially gives you assisted app development or concierge app development and these are all one-time prices that if you have a bit more budget personally i would go and try and see if i could get a full low code no code app built from scratch before i pay six thousand five hundred ninety dollars for them to turn my website into an app even though typically da, 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 we publish your app to the this option might just be creating the app from scratch it might not be creating the app from the website even though that's what this whole platform does so i doubt that part i think that this will probably just be um, you know, they, they help you create the app from your website, but they provide a bunch of different plugins in addition to that. And then you have your enterprise level piece, um, that you would ultimately, uh, have to discuss with them about kind of learning more what that entails. So personally, if you don't mind having a watermark on your app, then you could go with free option but there are some limitations like any free subscription service that you might use. The self-serve professional one is $790, which again is still not terrible in my opinion. But when we get over to this full service, even if you are gonna be getting assisted help, if all they're doing is taking your website and turning it into an app, I would say that for this price, you could probably find um, some development company that can build you an app from scratch um, using a low code, no code solution. And so if you're interested in how this works, when you log in to Median, this is kind of what your, you know, splash screen or splash screen, this is what your dashboard main page looks like. Um, you know, you have your, okay, I guess I can't click on any of this until I uh, do this. So. Let's say I wanted to turn my personal website into an app. Um, oh, you see, okay, I guess it populated this already, sweet. Um, start building my app, a valid email, okay, fine. So here we are. Now, after you've done that, you have the ability to essentially do all the customization that you would like. So. Um, you can change the app icon, uh, what is your splash screen going to look like, Android, theme colors for iOS, primary colors, status bar, link handling, uh, website overrides. And so I'm curious, push notifications, I am curious here 
if I want to immediately view what this looks like as an app, um, is that this link here? Yep. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So this, all it did was take my website and give me an app directly. So if I click here to start the app, it's going to load. I guess it's downloading the app. It's installing the app. It's going to open median. I don't think it would open median. And then, yeah, this is my website. Um, but it's, uh, in the form of, of an app, which I think is really, um, nifty. And so people might ask, okay, well, why can I just build a progressive web app? Um, and then I have this solution solved. There are certain things that you can't do with the progressive web app that you can do with the native application. And so the, the idea of these tools that allows you to take your website and turn it into a native app is that you get access to certain features that you wouldn't have access to as a progressive web app. In addition, you can uh, update some of these, um, you know, yeah. So you see, you can update, you can customize this as much as you want. And so it has Median's um, logo because in that screen, I didn't, with branding, I didn't update anything. I didn't change anything, right? I just wanted to see exactly what it, it looked like when I were to, if I were to turn my website directly into an app. So if you're interested, check Median out um, and keep in mind all of the different services and pricing that they have and see if it works for you. Another thing that I wanted to mention before I get into the next tool is that these, um, I'll, I'll, this allows you to publish your app on the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store. And with the Progressive Web App, you typically can't publish to app stores because it's the application runs inside of the browser. It does not run, it's not built to run on a specific uh, device. And so that's another, um, that's another plus. So the next tool that I wanted to talk about is called web to app dot design. And um, they also have a bunch of different users. Uh, I'll place my website here towards the end so you can see kind of how it transforms it into an app location um, within seconds. Um, you can edit and add new pages and then it's gonna always update your, your application. They're kind of in sync. You have your push notifications. Um, like I mentioned, a really great way to reach your users, make it convenient with view, make it convenient to view, create an app, um, safety, privacy concerns. And so this is similar to the other one. However, the pricing options are a little bit more affordable. So depending on how many users, this is kind of more of a user model. Depending on how many users you have, um, the pricing changes and uh, you have a monthly subscription here. And so it depends on how you look at things because with median, you had a one-time fee, whereas here, you know, technically you're going to have a, a recurring subscription. And let's say if you wanted to do it monthly, it could be 59, 79, but this might be more um, affordable depending on where you at with where you are at with your specific business. So if you're just a small business and you're, you know, you don't have that many active users and you just want to Android iOS free app updates, 59 bucks, boom, you're good. The more users you have, the price seems to go up. So this, like I said, based on a user model, um, they have uh, a bunch of reviews on Trustpilot and Google. So you can kind of see, okay, how does this work? Are people using it? Do they like it? And then you can also see some different options. So as you can see with this example, right, this was a website, but she, you know, you can add in components like a side menu or a tab, uh, a, a menu on the bottom or a header. Um, like this is the menu that I'm talking about right here. So it's not exactly like your website. Um, with these tools, it is taking your website as the skull or like the skeleton of everything. And then it is just adding on top of that. And so if I were to go back and type in codebysophie.com, just so that we can see 
what this is going to look like. Okay, I had to reset my password. Um, but essentially this will be the website. I'm gonna call it Sophie, let's click continue. Um, it's gonna ask you again, app icon, you can add something. I hope it doesn't make me add anything. Okay, BRB. Okay, here we go. Um, the screen before this was basically just asking me to add um, a launch screen if I wanted to. So as you can see here, this is my website and it, you know, it's asking you what your layout type is. Like, do you want a door menu? Do you want a navigation bar? Do you want it down here? Just your website. Basically, this is exactly what my website looks like. You're able to add, you know, and customize this to feel more like an app, even though it is technically just, um, you know, your website with some additional functionality to make it native to the device that you are currently on. So the overall timeline, right? You enter your app details, customize your app, however you might want, create a plan, check your preview out, publish to your Play Store or the iOS Store. These, uh, you can control your push notifications here. Um, you can customize the app icon, launch screen, layout, navigation bar. So you can make it feel, even though it's a website, like I said, you can make it feel like a like an app. The one thing that I do not particularly see like it has too much custom, they don't have as much support for is um, integrations. So with Median, it looked like you're able to integrate a lot of different tools, uh, an external database, and at least from you know what I'm seeing here, it doesn't look like those are readily available options. And if they are, you might have to go through a little bit more hoops to actually access it. The next one I wanted to mention is AppyPy or app maker. And so you can convert your website into an app directly, similarly to the other ones. The main difference here is that those two other tools seem to be like their main offering is essentially turning your website into an app, whereas AppyPy in general is a low code, no code development platform. So you, they offer this, as an option, but you can also create an app directly from scratch using their um, platform, which I have mixed feelings about, but for this, it seemed to be a decent option, especially if you're just trying to get something off the ground um, with minimal resources. Overall, AppyPy is an option. It does allow you to turn your website into an app. I'd say of the three options, it's probably the least favorable or my least favorable. And there are other tools out there. These are just the ones that I kind of found that seem to be the most popular. Um, but in general, check them out. Their pricing is, you know, probably follows the same structure as if you were gonna create an app from scratch um, using their platform. Um, but, you know, you, you're able to create something um, and essentially, like the other ones, add functionality on top of your website. I hope this video was helpful in giving you more insight into what opportunities you might be missing out on if you currently do not have an app for your business. And in addition to that, if you were interested in this content and you want more content like this, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have questions on any of the tools that I mentioned or for your specific use case, comment it down below and I will be sure to respond and I will catch you guys in the next video.